Okay guys, we're back today working on the project. Got Todd here with me. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Anyways, we're putting some brake lines on this truck. Um, we kind of skipped ahead here and got a few off, but I just want to show you what we're doing. So we're replacing the lines here from these um, <clears throat> diverter valves down to the brake chambers. And we've got new fittings in, in the chambers as well as up here in the valves. And then we're just working on the bulk end fittings here. So. <clears throat> Show you some of these old lines. They were really brittle, so I'm glad we're doing this. Actually, a lot of them just twisted off when we started turning them and broke in half. So, good riddance to those. And then this is the line we're using to make the new ones. We've got crimp fittings. Maybe I'll show you how to do one of those later, but here's the tools we're using to crimp the new lines. So, we're just kind of going taking one off as a, at a time and just replacing them as we go, cutting them to length and yeah, so we'll catch back up with you in a little bit. All right guys, so I, I told you I would show you how this works. So, so what we're doing here is the first thing we do to make these lines is we'll spray a little lube in the end of the line there and then uh, we'll lay the, the new line next to either an old line or one that we made that we need the same length or we'll measure it with a measuring tape and then we'll just cut it to length. So he's got that there. We're using proper uh, hose or tubing cutters there so you get a nice square cut. So we cut that to length. And then the next thing we do is there's a, a barb fitting and a collar. So you put the barb inside the collar like that. Boom. And then we just run a nipple on the other end so when we push it on the hose there it uh, butts all the way up tight. And he already put a little bit of lube and then we put this collar on the hose. We just push her in there until it butts up to the end. That looks good. And then we get our crimping tool. Hold her up on its side there, yep. Just kind of... Just like that. And we just start pumping until it gets tight. Takes a few for it to uh, get tight against the collar, and then you can see as he pumps there, you get a good crimp on the and then when you can't clamp it with your hand anymore, about there you just release the pressure, that's good. The jaws will open up. And you got yourself a good uh, swivel fitting. And then when you're done, you got a line that looks like this with two good ends on it. That will just kind of snake around in there. One goes to the bottom and then the other one goes up here to this uh, fitting. You see Todd's putting one on there now. Easy as that. So there we've got the lead axle on the back. Done with these anyways. We're gonna replace a lot of these um, plastic lines as well. We just don't have the stuff today. So today we're just working on the bigger rubber air lines. You know, the ones that flex when the axle goes up and down. So we got these ones done. And you know, this is the shape that the back's in. So these actually just twisted off when we put a little pressure trying to get the, uh, the uh, fittings out. And these ones, they won't even come out. Like, they're seized right in there. So it's a good thing we're doing this because that would have left us in a tight spot on the road someday. Uh, the back ones, we're going to have a closer look at. They look like they've been replaced recently, but we'll probably end up doing those too. And then we were just talking about the front ones. They look pretty good. And uh, I was wiggling on them, and Todd goes, Oh, what's that? So... This is the reason why we're doing this, guys. Um, you know, even some, even though some of this stuff looks pretty good, it's still pretty rotten. So we're gonna end up uh, swapping those out right now. I don't, I haven't looked at this side yet. It's a different style line again. 
Um, there's just some paint coming out there. This one doesn't look too bad, but it looks a lot newer than the other side, but for sake of doing it, we might just change that one as well. So yeah, we'll catch up with you when we get those done. We'll measure it up, we'll cut a new one, put the fittings in, and replace it. And we just got those replaced, and this is what she looks like now. And uh, we're kind of running out, we're missing a few fittings that we need, so that'll probably be all we do on the airlines for today. But yeah, there you go. We still gotta tie these up, so we gotta get some, uh, some separator ties that go in here, tie them together, but keep them separate, and uh, yeah, she'll be good. I guess I forgot the other day to show you guys the inside of this thing, but ugh, I don't know how people can treat their trucks like this. Hey, dude. You could scrape about an inch of nicotine off the roof. But anyways, we'll get her swapped out. And I think that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.